Thank you very much. It's amazing to be here in this opera house. And I would like to uh, offer my gratitude to the Poptech family for giving me this amazing lifetime, once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of this high definition experience. <laughs> um, and also, I would like to acknowledge uh, the knowledge and the wisdom that I have learned from my fellow fellows. And uh, America should be proud of them, and humanity too should be. How many of you know where Bhutan is? Not bad. Now, how many of you been to Bhutan? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bad news. Okay. So, so for those of you who don't know where Bhutan is or would like to know, sorry, how does this work? Right there. Sandwiched between China and India, Bhutan is a country with a population of less than a million people. 2008 is a very, very important year for us. It's a year when we celebrate 100 years of monarchy, a monarchy that has invested its time and wisdom, constant nurturing of democracy. On the 4th of November, you will go to the elections to elect a president. On the 6th of November, we will crown a king. His Majesty Jigme Gesa will be enthroned on November 6th as the fifth Thunder Dragon Monarch. In March this year, we went to the first ever parliamentary democracy which elections, which made us a democratic constitutional monarchy. And this, by the way, was not the will of the people. It was commanded by the king. So we live in a very special country. And I'll show you some pictures of what uh, Mm -mm -mm. Please, please, please. Okay, the guy doesn't like me. Okay. That is Bhutan. It's the tiger's nest. It's a place uh, where people go to meditate. It's a place where people go to offer prayers and butter lamps. And the beautiful thing that you see swirling on the top is the prayer flags. A familiar scene that you would see. More than... Uh, 70% of Bhutan is covered by forest, and uh, farming continues to be the major source of livelihood, but it's changing. And this is a medieval fortress, and you can see that the place is packed with spectators, and uh, the dances are centuries old. This is another medieval fortress. These are Marx dances. Sort of like our spiritual Woodstock experience. <laughs> now, Bhutan doesn't have a single traffic light. It doesn't have Starbucks, no McDonald's. My generation of, uh, and my father's generation, we missed uh, Man's Landing on the Moon, the O.J. Simpson saga, the Lewinsky scandal. <laughs> but, but, but the present generations of the youngsters that I'm going to talk about saw the tragedy of 9-11 happen right in the front rooms of their houses. It's a different generation. These are monks, and uh, they are at the festival also. You can see that many of them are young ones. And when I look at these pictures, I'm reminded of the philosophy propounded uh, by our fourth king. His Majesty Jik Misinge Wongchuk, who said that gross national happiness is more important than gross national product, which is a different subject. And there's a conference happening in November, if you are interested. My favorite picture. These are the stats. A population of 634,000 people and 23% are in the 15 to 24 years age group. And the challenges for them are many. This is a, I would say, a nightclub. What is that, breakdancing? I think you call them breakdancing. I don't know what they're called. But these are the same, same young people who go to the festivals and also go to the thing. What? At the festival. Now, those of you who are going to vote, this woman walked 600 kilometers in the election that we held in March of this year. 
That's what the Bhutanese television looks like back at home. And that's our. The youth employment, unemployment is a growing concern. Bhutan's young people and the power of possibility is what Project 2020 envisions. So how are we going to do that? We have a camera. We have a microphone. And uh, we are going to train a core of young Bhutanese who can tell their own stories. Appropriate the best offerings of the West and capture the best of their own culture and provide quality content, content that is at global excellence level. And tell their story, the stories of a young democracy, the story of young voices in a very young democracy, in a country where more than 50% of the population don't have access to television. Television came only in 1999. Project 2020, therefore, is a vision on my part and uh, to set up a journalism and a media training center where we have Bhutanese people telling their stories of a unique country on the path to happiness. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Thank you very much.